We're now located at Ringeskiddy, which is the port of Cork located in the outer harbour. In many ways this is the terminal point of the process of downstream migration of port activity and trade. Because Cork's outer harbour exits into the open sea through Roaches Point. In this outer harbour development occurred primarily around bulk shipping rather than containerization which we saw at Tivoli. Bulk shipping involves the very large scale movement in special vessels of large quantities of dry or liquid goods. Obviously liquid goods for example would be oil, dry bulk, grain, iron ore, bauxite etc. As a result bulk shipping requires two primary locational attributes. One is deep water and extensive areas for the boats to swing or to maneuver and secondly extensive land banks which would provide the basis for storing the goods or for building the factories that will be utilizing these goods. The classic example here in Cork Outer Harbour is Whitegate Refinery which can take vessels of about 70,000 tons which docks alongside a special jetty and the oil is stored in many large oil tanks located around the refinery at Whitegate which is Ireland's only refinery and is central to the large-scale traffic now moving through the port of Cork. For the port to develop as an optimal site for these heavy industries and large vessels a number of criteria is necessary all of which are located here. Firstly deep water which is available in the outer harbour accommodating vessels of up to 90,000 tonnes. Secondly adjacent land banks to support the industries and assemblage of raw materials. Thirdly we require infrastructure which is available to facilitate the development of the industries. And here in the 1970s a new port was developed with common user facilities to allow the shipping to dock and unload. So behind me you see evidence of a deep water bulk shipping point, dry bulk, with the large cranes able to offload grain and other dry bulk directly on shore for distribution. Just to my left in the background you see the jetty which links into Pfizer Chemical Corporation plant which was located here in 1969 and was the first of the major multinational chemical complexes which came to Ireland as part of Ireland's drive to develop a new industrial base and alongside the jetty tankers would arrive and discharge directly into the Pfizer plant for the manufacture of chemical goods. Behind me you also see the new ferry facility which was transferred from Tivoli down to the outer harbour to facilitate much larger ferry boats which not only convey passenger traffic to Europe but also allows for what is called roll-on, roll-off traffic whereby trucks with containers drive onto the vessel and then are taken across to European destinations to be discharged at that point. So this becomes an optimal site for a lot of um, industrial development and behind me just above the, uh, the ferry boat you see 
one of the large chemical complexes in addition to Pfizer, which is located here, meaning that Ringeskiddy is the largest now cluster of chemical and pharmachemical industries in the country, very much associated with this downstream development of industry proximate to deep water and large adjacent land banks. The port is now planning to extend its development here, which in effect means that the inner city keys, which we saw earlier, will be transformed into a city, an urban-based development. Tivoli will be in effect closed and the shipment transferred to a special new container facility here costing something of 80 million euros, which is scheduled to be completed in the early 2020s. So that the port here will not only be a deep water bulk port, but a deep water container boat. Not only do you have movement of bulk goods, but also we have cork, providing a destination point for the conveyance of motor vehicles brought to the country to be redistributed to dealers all over the country. And one can see large expanses of land given over to provide parking facilities for the vehicles which are imported into Ireland. This is the future of Cork's port. The downstream movement completes its movement here and in the future this will be the center of Cork's dynamic port. It is the closest port to the European mainland and given the potential problems of Brexit and the difficulty perhaps of Britain being a land bridge for trade from Ireland to the rest of Europe, direct connection to Europe will become a premium. And in this respect, the Outer Harbour, with its extensive land banks, its deep water facilities, its pre-existing industrial base, and its proximity to the European market, make it likely to be one of Ireland's dominant ports well into the future.